I never thought I'd say I would be a gamer. Kind of giving more helicopter pilot than gamer, so I don't know. What's up you guys, it's Dana. If you've been watching my channel for the last couple of days, you'll have seen me play Stardew Valley for the first time. So I wanted to make a video about my week one experience playing Stardew Valley. And this is coming from a non-gamer. I've literally never played video games before, ever. This is like my first experience with Stardew Valley, with video games, and even with live streaming video games too. So here's my experience of week one in Stardew Valley. Like I said, I went into the game not knowing literally anything. A good friend of mine recommended the game to me, but I didn't even watch any videos of other people playing Stardew Valley online. I literally had no idea what to expect. I'm like, how hard can it be to just have a farm. Let's just say it's not as simple as I originally thought. To be honest, my first day sucked because I had no idea what I was doing. But then I went live the next day and some of my viewers were giving me helpful tips in the comments. Thank goodness for those viewers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. That was super helpful for me to kind of learn like, oh, okay, this is the reason for doing this. This is the point of doing this. So I, I started understanding uh, with those few little helpful tidbits, I started understanding a little bit more about the game. One of the biggest surprises to me which was how much there is to do. I kind of thought it was just farming, but it's actually farming, fishing, mining, keeping track of the days. It's kind of a lot. Fishing, for example, I did not expect it to be this challenging. Like once you catch a fish, you have to like so quickly click and then you gotta like click, click, click to keep the fish in the thing. Like it's very complicated. The mine is super stressful. Somehow I managed to do the Slay 10 Slimes quest, but it was so anxiety provoking. And it was kind of the opposite reason of like why I set out to play this game in the first place. Like it's supposed to be, Stardew Valley is known for being like chill and cozy. And the mines is like so stressful. Like you can get hurt, you can get killed. I got knocked unconscious one day and lost money. Quite stressful. and. One of my chatters was like, yeah, this is stressing me out, Dana. This is giving me anxiety from afar. The hardest part so far has actually been finding Lewis's purple shorts. That was one of the quests I got in week one. It felt like it took the entire month in the game to figure that out. It was actually a tip from one of my viewers that they were located in someone's house and that's what ended up helping me finally solve it. Good thing I went live. Good thing I had some chatters who were like helping me along. It was so, so helpful. One thing I still don't get is why you even make relationships with people. Like, is it important? Do you get anything from growing these relationships? I don't know. I, it doesn't really make sense to me. If you know, let me know in the comments. Another note is to be careful about planting too many plants or crops, I guess, because I learned the hard way that if you plant way too many seeds, then you'll be stuck watering the entire day and you'll be out of energy by the time you finish watering your whole farm, like useless. Also, don't plant something at the end of spring because it dies by the time it turns to summer. I didn't really know how fast these seasons were. I think it's 28 days each season. So like spring's 28 days, summer's 28 days. So I'm thinking, oh, we've got plenty of time, no prob. Yeah, that was another lesson learned. There were definitely some funny, maybe embarrassing moments. Like when I'm trying to finish a quest by giving something to another player to do the quest, but I accidentally gift them the item instead of giving it to them and somehow gifting them is like different. I don't know, that's so annoying. And then you have to redo the entire quest. Also watering everything. I accident, I was watering everything. I would click, you know, I'm still getting used to the one click, right click, left click, you know? I've watered my dog quite a few times by mistake. But overall, I'm actually loving Stardew Valley. It's really grown on me since day one. It's kind of rewarding to like make it another day and make progress in the game. And you can tell like you're making money each day. You're When you sell your crops or you sell the things you've fished, you like make money and that's fun to see. I think the characters are kind of cute. Like it's funny to see how different they each are and like kind of get to know them in a way. It kind of makes you feel like you're actually part of this like town together. 
I don't even know what I expected the game to be, but it's way better than I expected. I'm really impressed with the game. Whoever developed it did a very good job. Very thoughtful, random quests, random events. It's all just really well done. I'll keep playing it for the foreseeable future, honestly. I never thought I'd say I would be a gamer. So that's my week one Stardew Valley recap. I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if you're new to the game too. Or if you are a veteran player, if you've been playing it forever, let me know uh, some tips and tricks that you didn't know or would have liked to have known going into week two. Honestly, I need all the help I can get. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.